Missiscoy is established in 1943 for waterfowl conservation, so it was recognized long ago as a really significant waterfowl habitat. It is now the, known as the single most probably important waterfowl habitat on the Champlain Basin. A cold, rainy day in Vermont is normally the type of weather that drives people inside. But as the saying goes, it is a lovely day for ducks. Local duck hunters gather at the Missiscoy National Wildlife Refuge to harvest birds from one of the best spots for waterfowl in Vermont. Today, a popular UVM student organization is turning this duck hunt into an educational experience. We are doing a little educational project with the University of Vermont's uh, Fish and Wildlife Society. Um, we had a class last week to do waterfowl identification for them, and then today they're going to test their skills live at this boat ramp when waterfowl hunters bring ducks in from their harvest for the morning. They will practice their identification skills with live birds. So what exactly is the Wildlife and Fisheries Society? I met with Vice President Vegas Rockefeller to find out more. We're a student chapter of the wildlife, the National Wildlife Society. And here at UVM, we're the Wildlife and Fisheries Society because of our Wildlife and Fisheries Biology program. We engage with the student body. They don't have to be wildlife bio majors or fish bio um, for that matter. And if you are interested in wildlife and want to experience interacting with wildlife and wildlife conservation, um, then we're the group for you. We hold events uh, throughout both semesters. Um, one of our most popular is the Deer Check Station. Um, and then we also hold other events like the Waterfowl Check. A deer check, like a waterfowl check, is meant to make sure hunters are abiding by Vermont state laws. These events are also used to conduct scientific studies on Vermont's animal populations. Last year, UVM students involved in the deer check were cited as authors on a study about the presence of COVID in deer populations. Both checks provide invaluable experience. I mean, I did have to wake up at like 5 a.m., but I'm glad to be here. It's a great experience getting to talk to some game wardens and see some birds firsthand up and close. Like, that's some good experience that you can't really get, can't say yes to every week, so. Like, field work is so, like, it's really centralized at UVM. It's really focused on, and I think there's a reason for it. Like, the things that I can learn in the field, like, for instance, today is, like, invaluable in comparison to what I can learn classroom. Um, just getting that experience like helps me remember the ID, helps me you know learn tips and tricks for how to ID and also just like gives me a greater appreciation for what we're doing here today. Thank you so much. I love birds, that's what I want to do and I love any experience I can get and I was here this weekend for once so I was like why not take a jump on it and get some real life experience. For Ken, this is all about giving back to his alma mater, setting students up for the future, and having a little fun. But I also generally get a lot of um, a lot of uh, joy out of, of con you know, connecting with students that will be graduating from University of Vermont. Um, I felt like the program I graduated from did prepared me re really well uh, for a career as a wildlife biologist, and um, I, I want to perpetuate that um, with the students now. As a staple on UVM's campus, the Wildlife and Fisheries Society is sure to keep programs like this going in the future. And for board member Aaron Vostel, it can mean everything. I think this club is extremely important um, to students here, and not just wildlife biology students, but um, all types of students. Had I not had the experience as I had as a freshman and even going into my sophomore year with this club, I don't know if I would have been as excited to continue on um, with my degree in this program. Beautiful, right? From Missisquoi National Wildlife Refuge, I'm Caleb May with Across the Fence.